Welcome back. Will Meyer, the movie guy, is with us this morning talk about, talking about top movies at the box office this week. We're kind of getting an early start on Halloween, it seems, Will, because yeah. your top one to talk about today is The Nun. The Nun. It's a scary movie, a horror uh, flick. Yes, and it's doing a lot of business. Supposed to make 50 million bucks this weekend, wow. do really well. I think fans might leave a little disappointed, though. This uh -oh. is, yeah, this is the fifth installment in the Conjuring universe, and so um, this is one of the spinoffs. And if you've seen those other Conjuring movies, you may remember this terrifying image of this nun that would just appear every once in a while. Yeah, oh, yeah that's that, that pretty, right there. Pretty scary that's there. a painting. The real thing is even <laughs> scarier. Uh, and uh, you know, the Conjuring movies have done really well, and this was a character that was undefined but would just kind of pop up. So they thought we'll just make a movie around this character, flesh her out. Uh, but they really didn't do that, I think, in this movie. This movie's. I was so bored during it, Leslie, and I think that's because of a few reasons. One is the characters are so thin here. You've got really good actors in this movie, like Thaisa Farmiga, who's on American Horror Story, and then you have uh, Oscar-nominated Oscar -nominated Damian Bashir, and they're both doing good work here, but they're just given so little to do uh, that it's really hard to care about them. Uh, the storytelling is really weak, too. There is no plot in this movie. The premise is that for some weird reason that's never fully explained, uh, a novitiate and this priest go to investigate the death of a nun, and when they get to this place in Romania they encounter this demonic force and that's it it never really develops or progresses from there just a bunch of evil stuff happens at random uh, and you know there's just really no story here I think that um, in the last five minutes they try to connect it to the conjuring universe but it, that really just feels kind of tacked on so uh, I was struggling to pay attention during this movie the storytelling is weak and the, the scares are as well what the, what you just saw right there is something that's jumping out that's all this movie is mm -hmm. there's no suspense no tension um, it's really just you know give you these little jolts every once in a while so if you're thinking that this is going to be something that's going to terrify you keep you up late at night it's not going to and at that's all. that's what you wanted, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean, when you see a scary movie, but this made me, I slept like a baby. So really? uh, I was really disappointed in this movie, and I think a lot of people will be too. It has the worst audience score by far out of really? any. It has a C, whereas Annabelle had like a B. I mean, yeah, C is really bad on a cinema score. Okay. So um, I say one out of four stars. I think it's really bad. So. Ouch. All right, up next, Madeline's Madeline. Yep, this is uh, an experimental new film playing at Downtown West. This movie did really well at Sundance. Um, it stars this newcomer, 20-year-old Helena Howard right there, who's fantastic. Um, also, uh, Miranda July and Molly Parker. Um, it's a movie about um, this young girl um, who starts to take her theater project a little too seriously, and she gets really immersed in it. Um, this is a movie that um, uh, is, uh, you know, very dizzying. It's a strange experience. You got a lot of uh, intentionally fuzzy images here, oblique camera angles, strange sound, music, um, and in the first 30 seconds alone, you see this weird figure tell you that what you're watching is a metaphor, tells you something about you being inside of a cat. It's the kind of thing that has half the audience just running for the doors 30 seconds into the movie. Yeah. But this movie is not uh, frustrating or as you know confusing as I thought it would be. This movie is actually really enjoyable, and it's this emotional coming-of-age movie. It's about the relationship between this young girl and her mother, um, who have a lot of love for each other, but they don't always know how to express it. Um, it's a movie that has a lot of interesting things to say about mental illness as well as about the line between uh, life and art, as she gives so much to her art here that it really mm -hmm. starts to affect her personal life. So yeah. um, good performances in this movie, especially by this uh, newcomer, Helena Howard, I thought she was great. Um, and uh, second half, not as great for me, starts to run out of ideas a little bit. But overall, really solid, original, and entertaining movie. Three out of four. Three out of four. Okay, that's high for you. Yeah. Well, that was generous. All right, our final one, Support the Girls. Yeah, this is a movie that's playing at Central My Cinema tonight, this new theater in Knoxville, mm -hmm. and it's also on video on demand if you can't catch it there. It's a comedy mm -hmm. drama about the general manager of a highway side fun. sports bar with curves. Tell, um, it's about this woman who, over the course of a long, strange day, has her faith and optimism in her customers, her employees, and herself tested. Um, it stars Regina Hall, who you've seen in comedies like Girls Trip and Scary Movie. Um, she gives a really great dramatic performance here as this woman who just has to put up with so much crap, but just miles through it all. Mm -hmm. Reminds you of a lot of authentic, real, hardworking women that you know. Um, this movie is not the raunchy R-rated comedy that you might think it'd be. It's something more honest, more empathetic, even if it's unromantic. Um, it's not laugh out loud funny, but you will really enjoy this movie. It's not a downer. Um, I think it's certainly worth one. It's one that's worth checking out. So uh, Central Cinema Tonight, we're on video on demand. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, and people can go to your Facebook page as more. Yep. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, we'll talk movies. Awesome. Sounds great. And tonight may be a night to go to the movies. Rebecca and Sean, 